easy chili cheese enchiladas is quick and easy to make add your favorite beans maybe a salad guacamole if you have it it's something your family is going to love and taste great welcome to homemade cooking in texas i'm carolyn gibson from dogwood gardens where homemade cooking is surprisingly easy healthier for you and your family saves money and tastes great Come join me today as I share my favorite recipes, and I hope they will become your favorite recipes. And don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. Easy chili cheese enchiladas begins with two cans, two small cans of chili with no beans, or it can be one large can. And uh, now I like wolf brain chili. It's made here in Texas, and this is what my mother always used. But you can certainly use whatever brand you prefer, or even your homemade chili. We need corn tortillas. Now, I know some enchiladas are made with flour, but we prefer the corn tortillas. Chopped onions and shredded cheese. It can be, uh, right here, I've got a Mexican cheese blend. It can be all cheddar cheese. Just whatever your choice of cheese is. Then we're going to need to heat our chili, and we need to uh, heat up our tortillas. Okay, I'm starting with a dozen corn tortillas, plus one, in case I screw one up. I'm heating up my skillet, and I know it's hot enough, because when I put water on it, it sizzles. Now, I also have dampened a dishcloth, and another towel around that, and this is to keep my tortillas warm and moist while, while I'm working with them. So, let's get started. Just a tortilla, I just need to put it in there. We're waiting for it to heat up. When it's heated up on one side, I will turn it and put it on the other side. And then I'll, I'll put it in here to keep it warm. Okay, now I flip this several times and it's nice and warm. So I'm going to put it in there to keep it warm. And now I'll go for another one. Now you don't want to overcook it and get it dry where it won't roll. So uh, I just need to flip these several times to, to, uh, to warm them up. I'll just kind of fill them, kind of see if they roll pretty good. Okay, now I have prepared, now this is just the little pan that goes in my broiler oven. Now you can start, I've covered it with foil just for easy cleanup. You could use any kind of casserole dish you have or any kind of sheet pan. Now I've got my warm tortillas right here. I've got my shredded cheese and chopped onions where I can easily get to them. Now because I just warmed my tortillas, and did not dip them in oil or did not dip them in uh, enchilada sauce. I'm going to put chili on the bottom of my pan. Now this keeps, we don't like dry enchiladas. I know there's a lot of places you can go to, they're pretty dry. So I just kind of spread a bed of chili just to keep them from being dry and hard. Because tortillas can get uh, hard if, if they're not kept wet. So. Okay, so now we're just ready to just take our warm tortillas, put some onions on here. Now it's strictly how much you like onions. If you have family members that don't like onions at all, you could easily just skip this and just uh, mark, you know, just remember which ones don't have onions for those particular family members. So I'm going to get this going and get two, two layers going and I'll finish this up and then we'll get back to how we finish these off. Okay, I've got these all rolled out and now I'm going to top them with my cheese, with my chili. And you just want to kind of get it spread it out evenly so you see how much you've got. What you really want to do is make sure you get these edges because if you don't, if you don't get the very edges, they'll dry out in the oven. So I want to make sure all those edges are covered there. And now it's just a matter of spreading it all over them. Get to these edges, make sure I've got these edges good. Because we, we don't like dry. Now, if you really love onions, you can take some of the onions you had left over and just kind of spread spread those on there. 
and then we're going to top it with more cheese. Now I ran out of the other cheese that I was using, which doesn't matter. I'm just going to top it with some other cheese that I had. This is some sharp cheddar cheese. So it, this is just a matter of how much do you love cheese, how much do you want to put on here. So I might want to add a little bit more. Uh, at this point, if your family likes jalapenos, you could top it with jalapenos. But now I'm, e I'm ready. I can either cover this with foil, put it in the refrigerator, and bake it later, or I can go ahead and put it in a 400 degree oven and bake it now. And I'm going to bake it at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to watch it. I want the cheese to be melted. I want the chili to be bubbly. Uh, but I don't want the cheese to get crispy brown. So I, I'll just need to watch it. And it's going to depend on your oven how long it needs to be. Okay, I've, I've taken these out of the oven. I, I've been using my Oster oven for up here at the shop. Of course, I don't have a regular oven at my house. And this Oster oven is oven broiler is really pretty good about cooking about the same as my oven does. But let me show you how good these look. Here they are. They're, the cheese is melted. The, the, when I first took them out, the chili was really bubbling, but they've sat here a few minutes, so I could pick them up and not slide off the pan. But they're ready to take home and eat for our supper tonight. And I hope you will enjoy these and try these. They're super easy to make and so good. Okay, now if you think it's really too much to warm up your tortillas in a skillet and put them in the uh, dish cloths, you can also dip the tortillas in hot oil, which is what my mother did, which I think this makes them too greasy. You can dip them in warm red enchilada sauce, which to me is just one more thing to buy. You can dip them in your chili you've warmed up, which I think would be incredibly messy. Or you can even warm them up in your microwave, which is going to be the fastest and easiest way. Now, if you in the past have had trouble finding your favorite video on YouTube, uh, a good hint is if you would go ahead and sign up for an account with YouTube, which is absolutely free, and then you can add these videos to your playlist, and so you can always find them quickly and easily. Thank you so much for joining me today at Homemade Cooking in Texas. Uh, these are my favorite recipes, and I hope they will become yours. Now, if you enjoy these recipes, please like and subscribe so you can see more of these type recipes. We have been making a full-time living here on our organic farm since 1991. We need your support to continue our small family farm by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much.